Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'll be doing the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die makeup tag. For those of you that don't know or haven't seen her video, basically she made up a makeup tag where she told us all of her favorite products from each category. So for example, her favorite foundation, primer, mascara, concealer, everything. So these will be my absolute favorite ride or die, cannot live without makeup products. So if you would like to see my ride or die makeup products of all time, then keep on watching. Okay, first up primer, my absolute favorite hands down is the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Primer if you have oily skin. You need this in your life. It literally just makes my face so matte, especially down my T-zone. Whenever I wear it, I never get oily. It's seriously so amazing. I highly would recommend it if you have oily skin like myself. Next up, foundation. Now this was so hard for me to choose just because I have like five or six foundations that I use on rotation. And I don't, like I've never had a favorite foundation. When people ask me what my favorite foundation is, I can never answer it because I don't just have one favorite. But for the purpose of this video, if I had to choose one, it would probably have to be the Too Faced Born This Way. I only just recently started using this about maybe four or five months ago. I love, love, love the coverage. I love the color. It doesn't go oily on me. Sometimes it does go oily around my nostrils. That's normal for me. Like I usually get like built up around my nostrils and I can't really help that. But out of all the foundations that I use, I would have to say the Too Faced Born This Way is my fave. Next up, concealer. If you watch my videos, then you're probably just gonna be like, I know what this bitch is gonna say because she mentions it literally 24 seven. But I'm going to mention it again. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I've tried all the other high-end concealers. I've tried the NARS one, Urban Decay one. Actually, I do really like that one. Um, I've tried the MAC one. I've tried Tarte. I've tried them all. But this one has just been my favorite since I started using it. Probably about maybe two years now I've been using this. I just haven't been able to put it down. I always reach for it. I use it on my clients. It's got the best coverage. I love the colors. It's just literally so amazing. Next up, setting powder. I absolutely love the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Although I have recently discovered the RCMA one and not gonna lie, I really, 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 really like that one, but I didn't think it would be fair on Laura if I mentioned the other one, even though I've been using that one for about two weeks now. But because I've been using this for so long and I always recommend it to everyone, it is seriously the most amazing translucent powder, especially for baking underneath the eyes. It doesn't have any flashback, which is good. I always get asked by people if this does. Nope, no flashback, but I know which one has flashback. The fucking Astralis one. That is literally the worst translucent powder I've ever used in my life. Don't buy it. <laughs> Don't buy it. <laughs> Next up, favorite setting powder. Again, if you watch my videos, you probably know what I'm about to say, but I absolutely adore the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder. The only thing I hate about this product is that they don't have enough colors. Like, they only have about five shades. The lighter shade isn't even that light, and the darker shade I use when I'm tan. Someone with a darker skin tone to me when I'm tanned would not be able to use these powders. I just wish they made more, like they surely have to. So Astralis, if you're watching this, please make more colors and don't you dare ever think about discontinuing this because I would actually kill myself. That was a bit extreme, but like, you know what I mean? I'm obsessed with this powder. I love the coverage. It doesn't have any flashback. It lasts all day. So cheap. I love everything about it. It's amazing. Next up, favorite bronzer. Again, if you watch my videos all the time, this isn't gonna be a surprise to you. It is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I adore this. I think this is my favorite ever makeup product. Even better than the Fit Me. Like if I had to choose one, this would be it. I literally can't do my makeup without it. I have actually recently tried um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and then the Sweethearts one and I really really like those ones as well So I've been mixing it up a bit But I'll always go back to this one because it's just the most perfect color for contouring And it also comes with a little contouring brush which just makes your life ten times easier I've probably converted like 15 friends to buy this like that's how good it is You need it if you don't have it get it next up favorite blush I'm not much of a blush wearer. I've never really been into blush. I'm more of like a bronzer gal, but 
if I had to choose one, it would have to be the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I've just hit pan recently. I love it because it's super glowy and it's not very pigmented. I would prefer like glowy cheeks than like colored cheeks. My clients say I'm so weird because when I do clients makeup, I put a little bit of blush on and I'm like, are you a blush person? Do you like blush? And probably 90% of them like, yep, pack on the blush. I'm just like, Oh my god, I hate blush so much, but obviously I'm going to do what the client says, but I always go in with like minimum blush first and then build it up if the client wants more blush because personally, I would rather just bronzer and highlighter. I don't know, is that is that weird that I don't like blush, but Oh well, this one's my favorite if I had to choose one. Next up, brows. Now, I don't just use one specific brow product just because I have so many to choose from. I just use something different every time. But if I had to choose one, it would have to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Ever since I've gotten my brows tattooed, I haven't been needing to fill them in as much. All I do is I sometimes just get some of this or even some powder, run through the sparse areas and then just clean it up with concealer and then brow gel and that's it. That's all I do to my brows now, which is awesome. I literally don't really have that much product on my brows at the moment. So, But if I had to choose one brow product that I really love, it would be the Dip Brow. Next up, liner. My absolute favorite favorite and it has been for a very long time is the Tarte Clay Paint Liner in Black. I was going to choose the Maybelline Eye Studio but I don't use that eyeliner for the top. I only use that for the waterline. So I guess my favorite waterline eyeliner would be the Maybelline Eye Studio but for the top liner to do my wings it would have to be the Tarte Clay Paint. It goes on so smoothly. I like the consistency of it. It's not thick. It's quite runny but it dries really matte and it does not transfer at all, which is why I love it. So yeah, that's my favorite liner. So I thought I would mention my favorite contouring palette. I don't use this as much, but I feel like it is a category. Like contouring has become so big recently that it's, it's like, it's a category. So I would have to say my favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. Looks like this. I love this banana shade. I use it when I'm wearing like minimal makeup just to set my under eye area when I don't want to bake. And I love these two shades for contouring. As I said, I don't use it as much because I just use my hauler all the time. But if I had to choose one that I love, it would be this one. Next up, favorite eyeshadow palette. This was seriously the hardest decision out of everything just because I have my own custom Z palette with Anastasia and Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I use all the time. So I feel like I don't use my palettes as much, I know, which is really, really bad because I have so many of them and they're not cheap. If I had to choose one palette, it would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette, mainly because it has all of the crease colors. It has a really nice like orangey burnt brown color, which I'm obsessed with. It has a dark brown, it has a black, it has a champagne, it has a gold, it has pops of colors. This would have to be, yeah, my favorite palette that I own. I use this actually all the time on clients. I have this in the studio, so I don't have it at home, but it's seriously the best palette for when I'm traveling as well. I actually always take this when I travel. So yeah, this would have to be my favorite eyeshadow palette. Next up, lashes. Now, I've never really had a favorite pair of lashes because I just use whatever's in my drawer, whatever's easy, whatever I just feel like. So I don't really have like that one pair that I would always go to. But as of recently, I've only had these lashes for maybe three weeks now and they have become my favorite. They are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. I'm wearing them right now. I've actually worn these lashes six times now and they're not dead. They're so long and wispy. They're dramatic. They can be worn when you're wearing minimal makeup. They can be worn when you're wearing dramatic makeup. They tie in with like every single makeup look. I'm gonna go order like 20 pairs after this video. Actually, that reminded me because I only have two pairs left. Okay, now onto lip products. My favorite lip liner by far is the Gerard Cosmetics Sheer Lip Liner. Wait, Sheer? Sh sure? Dude, I never know how to pronounce that. I use these daily. I love the nude one as well, but this one is my favorite. I'm wearing it today. I use this on all my clients as well. They are literally the best formula of lip liners I've ever used in my life. If you haven't picked it up, you need to. I'll leave a link down below and a discount code if you're interested. Seriously, the best lip liners ever. This was also a really hard decision, but then I was like, what lipstick do I wear pretty much every day? And that is the one that I'm wearing on my lips now. It is Modesty by MAC. 
it is in the cream sheen formula which I particularly prefer in MAC lipsticks just because I feel like sometimes Velvet Teddy which is the matte one can make my lips really dry and it just makes them look like shriveled and smaller but I found when I wear the cream sheen formulas it makes my lips look plumper nicer bigger so I'm really loving the cream sheen formulas by MAC recently I only have two colors but yeah this is definitely my favorite lipstick if you don't have it you need it. Favorite liquid lipstick. This was not hard for me to choose from at all. It's got to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dusty Rose. When I first got this, maybe about a year ago now, I wore it every single day. It's almost out. It's like my first liquid lipstick that I've almost run out of. Like the logo is just even rubbed off. The formula of these also are really, really, really good. They don't feel drying on the lips. I do sometimes put like lip gloss or a lip balm over the top if I don't want that matte effect, but I feel like it still lasts even when I do have those products on top. So that is why that is my favorite liquid lipstick. So next up, favorite gloss. I'm not much of a lip gloss wearer. I don't really have that many in my collection, but I really, really enjoy the Rimmel Oh My Gloss. This is in the shade Clear. I use this on my clients as well, just over the top of lipstick sometimes. I love it because it doesn't taste bad. It's not sticky. It's just a plain, clear gloss that looks amazing. I'll put it on now, actually, so you guys can see. It's just like a really nice clear lip gloss and it's obviously so cheap as well because it's Rimmel. So yeah, if you haven't tried this then I would recommend it because it's my favourite gloss. My favourite setting spray is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is the oil control one, obviously because I have more oilier skin. It's just amazing, it feels so fresh on the face and it definitely makes your foundation last so much longer. I remember this one time I forgot to spray this before I went to work. At the end of the day I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, is that really what I look like? And I realised I hadn't sprayed this. So this makes such a a difference in your makeup routine like honestly if you don't have this in your life you need it so I think that's everything and if I've forgotten something oh my god I'm gonna be so pissed off but if I have I'll leave it in the description box down below let me know if you guys want me to do more like chit chatty like sitting down videos like this maybe like monthly favorites I used to film those ages ago but I felt like I'd rather do like makeup tutorials and like doing something while I'm talking rather than just like speaking directly to a camera but yeah, if you want to see more videos like this where I sit down and chat, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.